I'm James Morley, the Deputy Commander of Naval Striking and Support Forces NATO, based in Lisbon in Portugal. We're a multinational maritime battle staff composed of personnel from 13 NATO nations, focused on integrating high-end US capabilities, primarily carrier strike groups and marine expeditionary strike groups, into alliance planning and operations. We're here in USS Mount Whitney, which is the US Sixth Fleet and Commander Strike for NATO's command ship, to lead the integration of the Harry S. Truman Strike Group into the deterrence and peacetime vigilance activities being led by two of NATO's strategic headquarters located in Brunson and Naples. This is valuable work that NATO has been planning for some time under the peacetime vigilance banner of Neptune Strike. It levers the combat power of a US carrier strike group, promotes interoperability with allies, and allows operators to train on NATO networks to NATO procedures, and to become familiar with operating in the European theater in support of regional peace and security. These maritime allied interoperability activities are the keystone of naval striking and support forces NATO. It's not a one-off. Following our integration rehearsal last autumn with the Truman Strike Group, we've also led the Kearsarge Expeditionary Strike Group as it prepares to deploy, conducting realistic mission rehearsal drills off the east coast of the United States. And there will be more. Neptune Strike 22 is a visible demonstration of NATO cohesion, embracing the deterrence and defense of the Euro-Atlantic area, promoting peace and regional stability now and in the future.